So be very careful with convergency questions huh? because it is easy but it can really trick you out. Let's look at the question. Question number four. Great circle bearing of M from N is 260 degrees. So that's great yeah. circle bearing of M from N. So you write as GCMN. That is 260 degrees true. And the question is given that the whole story is happening in the northern hemisphere. Sir, of M from N. Oh, great circle bearing of M from N. So it is M yes. from N. NM. 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 This is great circle bearing of M yes. from N. Correct. Yes. yes. And the conversion angle is given as 20 degrees. Yeah. Right? And uh, you are asked to find long line bearing of M from N. Long line bearing NM. of M from N. NM. And great circle bearing of N. Uh, of N from M. From NM. M. Yes. Right? So it is the northern hemisphere. So let's draw the uh, meridians accordingly. So as we discussed in the uh, previous class, we are following the Lambert's projection here. You can also do the same question using Mercator. Some people find uh, applying Mercator projection here easier. But I practically go with Lambert's because it's more in line with the actual Earth. That's why I draw Lambert. Northern Hemisphere and therefore this is how the orientation has to be. This is the North Pole and this is the Equator. So let's mark the points N and M and for that what we have is just the angle. We have to have a slight orientation of this based on a true direction system. So let's draw the reference here. North, South, East and West. Now if you look at a uh, track of 260 degrees, this is 270, then 260 is somewhere in this direction. And that is from N, the first arrow is always from, first is from, to M. Therefore this has to be N and somewhere M. around here has to be M. So I take this line all the way parallel onto the diagram here and if I draw yeah. a, straight a track, line. this point would be this is my N. N and this point would be M. M. This is how you locate the points if you don't have the meridians given. Right? You have to kind of have an idea about the track uh, and then mark the points M and M. Alright. Now, uh, the hemisphere conversion angle is 20 degrees. You have to find round line track from N to M. So that is, let's draw the round line track here. Northern hemisphere, you know that the round line tracks are going to be convex to the equator, therefore south of great circle track. Right? Therefore, it will be like this. This is your, this is your round line, line track, yes. <coughs> and a straight line that is drawn on, in the Lambert chart is always the great circle track. Uh, it's a near straight line is always the great circle track, yes. Now, uh, if we have the great circle track, you have a great circle from N to M. So from is where you have to focus on, it is from N. <coughs> Therefore, that is here. So you have to now look the whole picture from this perspective here. So from N to M, how will you measure the track? The track is always measured from, from the from the local meridian. Local meridian till the great circle path. Clockwise. That's important. It's always clockwise, right? And that is given as 260 degrees. 260 degrees. This is a great circle track from N to. What are you asked to find out initially is the round line track from N to M. So now the from value from is from N. Therefore, the round line track from N to M is from N. To M, what's the round line track? This is the round line track over here. This is the directional round line track from M. Yeah. Therefore, it is again from the local meridian. Clockwise till round line. Clockwise. Yeah, clockwise so, if I have the great circle track at a particular point, and if I want to find the round line track at the same point, then what should I use? Convergence angle. Conversion angle. That is what is the use of conversion angle? Because conversion angle helps you convert between great circle track and round line track. What is the conversion angle given here? 20. It is directly given as 20 and therefore you can see round line track is to be 20 of 260. It is 260 minus 20 which yes. is 240 degrees. 240 degrees. True. Therefore your round line track from N to M is 2M is 240 degrees. 240 degrees. Right? Thanks. We are now asked to find a great circle track. Now it is from M to N. Right, so which angle is that? Yeah. Now it is from M, which means your focus has to be on, on to M. Yeah. So from M to N, which means from the local yeah. meridian, we measure clockwise, and this is the great circle track from M yeah. to.
to n right you can find this in different way okay to in different ways you can find this one of the ways is since i have the rump line track from n to m what can i say about the rump line track here right. this will also no this will oh, sorry this is the rump line track which is uh, yeah till that is also 2, 4, 0 degrees. That is why it is called as an unplanned track because it does not change. Yeah. Right? Now the whole idea is I have a big, I want a great circle track here. If I can find the run line track here, then by applying conversion angle and stuff, I can find a great circle track. So I'm transferring the unplanned track from there to this particular point. Now you see I want a great circle track from M to N. What I have is the unplanned track from N dot at M in this direction. So I have to convert that now by taking off so you can see this whole track is 240 degrees so if i take this 240 what is going to be uh if i remove this 180 degree part of it from here then what is going to be this angle it's 240 minus 180 which is going to be 60 degrees you can see this is 60 this is 240 what what is 60 here it is a rump line track from n track from m to m so rump line track from m to n is 60 degrees. If you have one line track from m to n, first you find a great circle track from m to n, how will you connect it? By using conversion angle again. Right? So what's the conversion angle? Conversion angle is this angle here. 20 again. That's again 20 conversion angle between two points joined by same great circle and one line is the same. Right? Yeah. Therefore this will be uh, 60 which is already here. 60 so minus 60 minus 20. Minus 20 which is? Zero four zero zero. Yeah. So what do you say? Same, yes. Yeah, correct. So it's it's forty degrees. From the circle track from M to N is forty. Similarly, we just like the concept for solving this particularly great circle path from M to N. In my mind, the calculation part was like this: the total I know is two forty. In between that, uh, I know that this great circle, the uh, bottom part of the great circle is total 180 degrees and the opposite sides are of 2020. Yeah, this bottom, this angle, the below angle is 180 degrees. This one? Yeah. Yes, so this angle is 180 degrees. Right. And this uh, conversion angle we have 20, so opposite will also be the 20. So in this way, I is it also fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. So 240 minus 20, which is 220 minus 180, which is 40. Yes. Yeah. As long as you have an idea about the angles, you can do it in all way. Now, what are the other way of doing this? Is to kind of come the other way around. So we'll remove this great circle, uh, rump line track here. I have the great circle track as 260 degrees, right? If this is 260 degrees, what is the great circle track at N? This total is 260, therefore great circle track at N will be 260 minus 180. This is total is 260. Now I think it's 260 minus 180, I'll be getting this small angle, right? Which is 80 degrees, right? Now this great circle track at N, and great circle track M is connected by convergency. Difference in great circle track is also convergency. If the conversion angle is 20, what's the convergency? 40. 40. It is 2 times conversion angle. Northern hemisphere, when you travel westward, your great circle track has to reduce. It is 80 here. It reduces by an amount of 40, and therefore you will again get 40. 40. So you can, it's up to you, you can, you can just play around with the angles and you can use the concept and solve in multiple ways, it doesn't really matter. <laughs>